Hello, I'm a BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to the video. Today we're going through five more banner tutorials in Minecraft console. The reason I figured this would be fun is because a lot of people really did enjoy the last five banners. I thought they were pretty cool. There's a decent amount of variety in there to teach you how to do stuff like Warner, you know, people away from somewhere, or just let them know there's a cat nearby. But I think today's set of banners are ones that are also really useful because they're great for showing off the oh, this village is a zombie village, watch out for it. Or like, oh, there is going to be an ocean monument that way. You can sell so many things this way. But it's also great because it's, you know, just a more exciting way to set make team banners. So for instance, instead of being team red, and Team Blue, why not be Team Creeper versus Team Shulker? Why not be Team Pig versus Team Guardian? I think there's a whole bunch of cool possibilities, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly, uh, you know, how to craft all five of these mob banners on console. So hopefully you do all enjoy the video. If you do like it, like then let me know because it helps out the channel, and let's know you do like these sorts of videos. But with that said, let's get straight into it, shall we? And let's start with the zombie villager. So bear in mind, all of these banners, with the exception of this one right here, which is very easy and creative, uh, but yeah, all of these banners are somewhat tricky to do because getting eyes done and getting, you know, all the different facial features you need for a mob is actually pretty, uh, you know, tricky using just six layers of banners. If you add more, it gets a lot easier. With six layers, things are kind of tricky. And you'll see what I mean when we get into the first one here, which is the zombie villager banner. So, uh, yeah, the first one is starting with a white base, just like this. Let's take our white base and let's add a red lozenge because the first thing we're going to add is actually the kind of pupils for the uh, zombie villager eyes. And again, because we've only got six layers, the way you have to work around this is a little bit weird, but it will kind of make sense later. So you start with just the red uh, roundel, the Japanese flag, if you will, and then you kind of uh, go down and you make yourself the bottom, uh, so the bottom third of it, into a, uh, you know, the green base fest. So let's just go over there right now. Uh, you basically turn this into green, and then as you can see, we're like almost getting a zombie villager here, right? Except not really. Then you want to add a lime stripe going right down the middle. Again, this is going to be the nose, but it, ma it makes more sense later. You add the, the nose going right down the middle, and now can you sort of see where this is coming from? No, not just yet. In which case, let's uh, add ourselves the eyebrow, because all villagers do have the kind of giant eye monobrow, I guess you'd call it, uh, going across the center. And then finally, uh, you want to add just two more things, which is a green border, and then a green green uh, thing along the top. So yeah, we're going to add green border. I guess it's not green border, but, border, but green border uh, all around there. And then you're going to cover the entire top half of the sign uh, with the, uh, sorry, of the banner with green as, as well. So that gives you this right here, which as you can see is a zombie villager banner. So it actually looks kind of weird in the preview like there. So uh, as you can see, our banner looks a little bit strange, but once you place it down, it makes a little bit more sense and it just is a bit more visible. Again, in this one, you can kind of see the reds a bit more visible than this one for some bizarre reason, but still, it's something that is uh, relatively easy to do and relatively easy to repeat, and then you can have yourself a zombie villager banner, whether you want to have one that looks like that, or one that looks like that, and this, yeah, this is a really weird thing, because as you're actually going to be able to see, if I break this quickly, which I guess I can't do, uh, but it actually is the exact same as, uh, you know, the one I did here, like red lozenge, green base face, lime pale, black fez, green bojo, green pearl fez, so I guess there's just some bizarre uh, little thing where sometimes it goes a bit differently, but still, uh, that, there are your two zombie villager banners, and that's a thing we've made right there, so let's knock this out quickly. Okay, there we go. I was wondering why it wasn't actually uh, changing at all. And let's move on to the second banner, which is the Creeper banner. So, yeah, the Creeper banner is one that's incredibly easy to make. And if you know your banners, you're like, why is this even a tutorial? But I think it would be a cool one to go through because it is, uh, you know, like uh, one that, you know, you might miss as being quite easy. So you start with a green banner, you know, the lime kind of green, I guess we'd actually have to go with because, oh, yeah, lime green. Uh, because obviously the Creeper is a very strong green color. And then all you want to do is bring yourself a Creeper head and add it on like that. Boom, that's simple. You've got yourself the Creeper. So uh, I, I figured I wouldn't just leave it this because I wanted first we'll mention this is the easiest banner to make in creative but it's very hard to make in survival if you do end up with one creeper face in survival it might be worth using on this banner but two uh, there's a few things that you might miss here such as one if you add uh, lots more of these you can make a more and more cartoony uh, creeper every single time you do it but uh, also uh, you can then decide to do some other wacky stuff that like okay so why don't we decide to go to the top so <clears throat> let's uh, find a green uh, the, you know, the, the very top link right here let's add some yellow to that and then if you want to you can turn this into a crown so yeah he's got a yellow hat right now it's not very cool until uh, we actually go in and uh, I always get uh, lots of someone's these and then until we go in and add this in which point Oh, we gave the creeper a crown and isn't that kind of nice? I mean obviously I think a green, uh, you know kind of crown would probably work a little bit better than what we're going with before because it's like the background But again, whatever you want to go with either way You can have a cre uh, creeper with a crown if you want to or you can have a regular creeper But they're both very easy things to do So I want to just have a simple mob on this list So there's the creeper all you need is a creeper head and you're kind of done or you can add the creeper crown and make the king creeper Because that's what you are your king of the creepers or something. I know but there is this second that is the second banner tutorial right here, the creeper slash king creeper. So next move, next move on to the pig. So yeah, the pig again. It's it's one that looks like it's easy because there's so little in big air quotes detail, uh, but it actually is a lot of detail just to get these eyes working because eyes on any Minecraft mob are very tricky or any you know any any kind of thing you're doing banners at all. So you start with your white base as always. So again, that's going to be the kind of pupils on the eyes, and then you just kind of remove the rest of it until you end up with those white eyes. So first of all, we start with a black border again going around the red edges like that, and then you want to cover the entire bottom half of it with 
a uh, pink thing, so bottom half or perfect inverted, so let's get some pink, and let's cover the bottom half with that. Then you want to cover the top one third um, with pink again, so then you, you can slowly see how we're fading into the eyes like this. Again, you could leave it here, but it's going to be a very derpy pig, and then you add a pink stripe going down the middle to separate the eyes, so you don't have one giant eye. Oh wait, not that's not down the middle. Uh, then you add one down the middle, uh, because you want to add, uh, you know, kind of separate the eyes, so we'll do that just now, and as you can see, pretty much there, and then there's, uh, you know, kind of an extra bit of detail, like this looks okay by itself, the extra bit of detail I quite like is adding the purple roundel, so, um, or sorry, the magenta uh, roundel, and then adding a pink one on top of it, you might, uh, this is actually something I didn't do on the one on the banner there, I just kind of left it the way it is, but if you add the purple there first, it adds a little bit of an outline, again, you can kind of look at this and work out what you want, but either you can have no roundel and just have the, the pig eyes, which I think looks okay, you can have just the pink roundel, which kind of separates it a bit, and, I don't know, it, I, 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 I kind of like it, but also looks kind of plain, or you can throw this one on there, and you can actually add the, again, it's, it's a weird purple line, but I think it makes the pig nose a bit more pronounced. Again, whatever you want to go with, uh, you've got a bunch of options, but this is your pig banner, which can be show, uh, you know, used to show them, the, oh, this is where the food is, it can be used to, you know, just kind of signify, I'm on team pig, you know, team pink or whatever. I know there's a bunch of uh, cool possibilities with these mod banners, and uh, this is just the different designs you can do that with. So, let's move on from the pig banner to going on to the guardian banner next. So again, the guardian one, uh, this one's a little bit tricky, you're going to need some vines, which I always run out of when I'm crafting banners, because you want to do is start with a white banner base, again, you'll notice the common trend here, and then you want to go with your um, Borgia, but indented. So instead of this one, you want to go with the kind of jaggedy ones, which is where you use your vines, and you want to make that cyan. So uh, again, cyan, the same color as the guardian is going to be. Again, you you'll slowly kind of sit if you want to have a blue guardian or a black guardian. I, I don't know why you would, but you can totally do that too. Maybe an elder guardian with gray. But yeah, you want to start, uh, start with that, and then add a bottom one third fetch. So go to the bottom third, and make this cyan like that. And then again, we're going to do the same kind of thing where we slowly fill it in, except before we can do any of that, we need to add the giant guardian eye. So uh, same sort of thing as we did with the zombie villager, where we start with a round, uh, red roundel, and then we just kind of remove the rest of it, which we'll do with our grey per fesnex. So that means covering the entire top one third uh, with grey, just like uh, this right here. So cover it with grey, and then cover the top one third of that, so pretty much most of that. Again, black, uh, back up with the cyan, and then finally we finish up with the orange uh, chief indented, the very top kind of, again, the jaggedy thing for the ca uh, crown. We uh, finish up with an uh, orange one of these, and as you're going to see, suddenly we've got the uh, we've got the guardian with its whole... Um, I forget what you even call that thing, but the thing at the top, and suddenly we've got a, a guardian banner, which again, I quite like, and I think this is a particularly amazing thing to point the way to a, uh, a guardian thing, like, uh, the, the thing about signs in Minecraft is they're kind of boring and adultery, like, look at that sign over there, you can't really tell what's going on, but if you see a guardian banner, you know that, oh, I guess it's that way to the ocean monument, and because you can copy banners pretty easily once you've made one, you could have a whole, uh, you know, group of these signs, so you could have one banner, you know, let's say there's one over here, which is our start one, and then you could have one banner, let's call it on that furnace, hinting to the right, you can use these for directions too, and I just think that's a really cool secondaries for banners, particularly when you're pointing them towards something, or, one more time, go for the teams. I think it's a good alternative to Team Blue, Team Guardian. So yeah, that's uh, what you can do with your Guardian banners. And look, you can very clearly see the, uh, you know, banner over here, as opposed to that sign where, you know, there's maybe two lines of text, but I have no idea what it says, and uh, yeah, something quite useful right there. So let's move on to the final banner here, which is, of course, a brand new mob from 1.9, uh, or you know, TU46, um, which is the Shulker. So the Shulker is one you might want to have just because you're, you're excited about new features or maybe, again, Team Purple, or maybe you want to hint out where your end is. So regardless of your, you know, reasoning for doing it, let's show you how to craft one of those right now. And this is actually crafted with a different base because we need to, uh, again, we're, the, the eyes on the Shulker is kind of tricky. So instead we actually sh uh, start with the color of the eyes and do the same thing where we kind of fade everything else out. So here is our, uh, you know, the eyes are going to be brown, just like that. And then we want to add some white pallies to that. So uh, let's go to that. Uh, you know, the kind of the white stripes uh, along the top of it. Just like this. So white pally, wherever that is. Okay, add the white pally. And now we've got a weird looking flag kind of thing. But don't worry, it is going places. This isn't a weird mislead. Uh, because we add the yellow cross to kind of, again, the, the the details in the thing. And although the yellow looks way too vibrant to be, you know, whatever, uh, you know, the actual color off the shulker's skin itself. Because again, most of the shulker's kind of hidden inside the shell. Uh, don't worry, we're going to be uh, darkening that later. Don't think that, nope, this is failing already. Because next up, you want to add the top half be purple, again, because now we're adding the shells to the thing, then you want to have the bottom third be purple, again, we're just slowly making this thing happen, so bottom third be purple now, and uh, boom, as you can see, we're pretty much there, until, uh, you know, uh, uh, we, we've got the shulker kind of shape, but it's still not looking perfect, it's still looking very rough around the edges, and this is where the next couple of uh, things come in very handy, because first of all, we add magenta all around the edges, this kind of gives the shell a clear colouring, kind of like how it actually is on the shulker itself, again, it looks a little bit weird, but then this is where the, uh, you know, the beauty of the black granite comes in because it can make any uh you know kind of thing look more serious and look more textured so we had the black base gradient fading upwards just like this and then suddenly you know the whole thing gets a bit darker and we look at the banner itself it suddenly does actually look like a shulker where there you can see there's the shell there's the shulker peeping out from the inside
side, looking to fire his projectiles at you. And uh, that is the fifth banner right here that I think uh, is really, really, uh, you know, amazing personally. Just because, uh, you know, the Shulk is a new mob and the fact that you can make it into a banner is pretty darn awesome. But yeah, this is five mob banners in Minecraft. Here are some variants you can do. You can be a King Creeper if you want to. You can have a more pronounced nose if you want to. And uh, I just think these are cool things that you might want to craft yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know if you're going to use any of these and what for. Because again, I think, you know, my use of like, oh yeah, you could be team this or that. It's probably my favorite idea. And if I ever make another custom map again, I will totally do that. But I'd uh, love to hear your, you know, ideas uh, down below because I think that's what Minecraft's about. Anyway, with that said, I hope you did all enjoy this video. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel and if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!